Hello and welcome to Have Guitar. I hope you are doing great as always. Uh, this summer I released a video on the topic of how to set up OBS Studio for Reaper when you are recording. But there was one thing that really been it's been nagging me ever since, and that was the fact that I could not record a guitar in real time. I had to record it first and then replay it in uh, Reaper and then record it with OBS, and that's been just hiding back in the, in the back of my head and been, it's been irritating me for a long while and now I finally found a way uh, around that that works much better it lets you play uh, while you are recording and the the signal with the, any effects you have will be recording in OBS Studio at the same time as you hear it which is of course exactly what you want and how do you do this well that's exactly what this video is about so, in the last video I used a software called Voice Meet Banana, as you can see on my screen right now. Uh, you don't need to. Remove that. Uh, I, let me first show you in Reaper, Preferences, Device, as you can see, it's my usual sound card, the, the Focusrite Sapphire 6i6 second generation. I don't need to change anything here anymore. When it comes to the audio device in Windows, I really don't need to change anything here either in this setup. The thing that I missed the first time was that when I installed Reaper, I did not install something called Rear Route. And what's that good for? To route your audio out to something like OBS Studio. So let's have a look here. I added, this one is disabled. This is the old one when I was using Voice Meet Banana. Now I have a new one called ACO. And if we go into properties, you can see that I've chosen Rear Route ACO X664. Sorry, turning to Swedish there. Uh, stereo uh, and then OBS Channel 1. Yeah, you can see the settings here. That's really all I've done. Actually if you go into settings um, you can see here for output uh, my settings here blah 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 not very uh, interesting. Uh, audio though is still saying voice meter banana. I didn't change that because it's working now and I'm gonna show you how good it works actually. So that's really all you need to do. If you don't have installed that rear route thing, uh, I think you can start up the installation file uh, again and just choose that options and it will be installed on top of your uh, current installation. Uh, I did it while upgrading to Reaper 6. I thought that was a great simple way to do it. Also, I can tell you that installing Reaper 6 above your old version well, at least for me, it worked really well. It took all my settings and stuff and just transferred that to, to uh, the sixth version of Reaper. So, one thing you need to do as well is to go into the channel, click the route button, and there you go to audio hardware outputs, add a new hardware output, where you will choose rear route one and two. I'm doing this because that's how I set it up in. Uh, in the audio source in OBS Studio and then you just close that and then you are ready to record Reaper in OBS Studio. So here I am with my old trustworthy Fender Strat and as you can see on screen I have uh, Scafam S Gear 2 running uh, and that's the tuner so let's turn that off. Uh, so I'm gonna show you I don't even need to record in Reaper now I just use Reaper as the audio source for um, S-Gear 2. So if I play now this is what it sounds like. And there you go, this is the end of the video. I hope you had some use for this video. If you did, you could do me a favor and uh, subscribe to have guitar. That'll be very much appreciated, I can promise you that. Uh, and as uh, said, good luck with your recordings uh, and uh, be well. That's all I have to say. So stay clean and play really hard until I see you next time because there is a video out every Thursday. Never forget about that, all right? Goodbye.